So once we get into the design tool, we're first going to be immediately um, brought with this page here. Um, and this is just sort of the, the most important thing to keep in mind when you're designing is our green safety line. And you'll see on our template here, this is our football template, that you've got this green line running inside of our panel itself. And you're going to want to keep all important um, images, text, just any design element you're going to want to keep inside this green line because everything that's inside the green line is guaranteed to be printed onto your final product, whereas anything that extends beyond it may be uh, trimmed over, cut off, stitched over, or glued during production, um, which you obviously don't want. So be sure to keep everything inside the green line. The red line that you'll see on the outside of the panel is actually the full bleed area of the print panel. So things like backgrounds, um, uh, anything that's not super important, but uh, something like a background, you're going to want to extend all the way to that red line just to make sure that on the finished product you don't have any white area. Because if you only design to the green line, the the rest of the area still will be white. So make sure that your background extends to the red line, but all important elements are within the green line. So we can go ahead and click got it. This will bring us to the tool itself. So you'll see that we have a menu bar both at the top of the tool and at the bottom of the tool. So primarily when you start the design you're going to be starting off with the top. So we've got skins which are backgrounds, photos, you can upload photos from your computer or device, Facebook or Instagram. Text is where you can add the text elements that you want. And clip art we have a whole library of, of various clip art elements that you can also add to the design. Then at the bottom we'll go over this later. Um, but there will be different options that um, populate down here based on what you add into the design and this is basically going to be how you're going to adjust those elements. So the first thing you'll do is you'll add the various elements from up top and if you'd like to make further adjustments you'll use the bar at the bottom.